Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you begin the repair, make sure the engine has cooled and remove the wire and boot from the spark plug. Your first step is to remove the starter rope from the rope guide. Next, remove the screws to release the engine cover. Feed the starter handle through the cover and set the cover aside. Now remove the screws securing the gas tank and move the gas tank aside. Be aware that some gasoline may spill out. Next, remove the mounting screw securing the dipstick tube and remove the tube from the engine. Keep in mind that some engine oil may spill. Remove the bolt securing the blower housing and pull the housing off. Use a block of wood or comparable sturdy object to hold the blade in place. Now remove the nut to release the flywheel cup from the flywheel. This will probably require some effort. Replace the nut to protect the crankshaft, then use a flywheel puller to detach the flywheel from the shaft. Depress the bail lever to release the engine brake and pull off the flywheel. Remove the broken pieces of the old flywheel key. You're now ready to install the new flywheel key. Reposition the flywheel onto the crankshaft and insert the new key into the slot. Tap it in to secure. Hold the blade in place with the support. Then position the flywheel cup and secure it with the nut. Torque the nut to manufacturer specifications. Position the blower housing on the engine and secure the bolts. Carefully insert the dipstick tube into the engine sump and secure the mounting screw. Reposition the gas tank and reinstall the screws. Feed the starter handle through the engine cover, then align the cover and secure it with the screws. Loop the starter rope onto the guide and reattach the spark plug wire and boot.